Hey guys, Texas Boy Fishing here, T and today I am going to show you um, my terminal tackle. There is um, salt and fresh water, but I'm just going to do both of them in the same video. So, this is everything that you see. So, there is um, corks, um, scent, hooks and weights that I'm going to show you. Sorry. Sorry about that. So first off, um, we have some Gulp Alive. It's in the Shad scent. Next we have um, the Two Lucky Strike Perfect Warm Rigs made with Gamagatsu hooks. They have this is for Texas rigging. They have um, weights on the end, and it is a uh, three sixteenth ounce with a four out hook. I have two packages of those. Next, we have some Baitmate Fish Attractant. Um, it's a live game fish, Ultra. Con concentrated formula. Next we just have an old popping cork for shrimp or maybe some gulp. It's upside down. Um, whichever. Next we have some Berkeley Trilene um, monophyllin. monophyllin. It is 14 pound um, braid or not, I can't, braid, 14 pound line, um, and it is green. Next, we have some Vicious Fishing, um, Ultra, ult, um, Ultimate, Ultimate, um, it's monophyllin, a 12 pound test, and it is also green. Next, we're going to start with the freshwater stuff. We have some Mustad Big Mouth Light Wire. It is um, a 4 aught hook. Next, we have some VMC Power Shot hooks. These are cool because I don't think I'll ever use them, but they have like little swivels on the eye of the hook right there. Next we have some um, Z-Man Fitness sh Shrooms. These are Ned Rig Jig Heads. Next we have some Eagle Claw, Eagle Claw Laser Sharp Hooks. It's a wide gap, wide gap, um, worm hook, and it is a three aught. Next, we have a mustad fastness clip. Um, this is for switching your baits off. I don't know what happened to the others. I have like a couple in there, but I pulled out and there was only one. Um, next, I have these trouble hooks that I got for. The um, mystery tackle box. They're like a trouble hook, but on one of them, it's like a normal hook. See? It came for a crankbait. Next, we have some Bullet Weights Ultra Steel. Um, it says Bullet Weights and Egg Sinkers, but whichever is fine. And it is one eighth ounce. So that's it for fresh water. Now let's move on to salt water. First off, I got a bunch of these egg sinkers. Or egg weights, whatever you want to call them. And I have these, I just, um, had these laying around, so I just threw them in there. 
Next I have a the Nexus 4 popping cork. Like I said, Wheezy's under a popping cork and live shrimp. Um, this is what most of my salt water um, um, terminal tackle consists of are one eighth ounce jig heads for uh, soft plastics for tr um, trout, redfish, or flounder. Um, they're one eighth ounce. I have four of them, like four slots full of them. Next, we have some Eagle Claw um, croaker hooks. Because what you do is you tie this on, and maybe a split shot, and you just um, put the croaker on and cast it out, and like, like leave it and like pop it, I guess. Like, like that with your rod. And pretty fun. And then we have um, a jig head with a spoon on it. I don't know where this came from, actually. But it is gold with a red eye. And um, these jig heads are made... This one is made by H2O Express, and it's one eighth ounce. And then... This one is made by H2O. I mean, uh, not H2O, H&H, &H, Coastal Tackle. I also forgot these two, um, right here, these two bobbers, they're, these are for rainbow trout fishing, um, this is a chartreuse one, and then this is white and orange, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you're new, and leave a like, and comment, and I will see you guys next time.